Hello, I'm Lindsay from Uni Admissions and today I'm going to give you some top tips on writing the ultimate personal statement. In 2016, UCAS received almost 600,000 applications. With that amount of people trying to secure a place on their dream course, you have to find a way of making your application stand out from the crowd. This is your opportunity to communicate your reasons for choosing your subject. The question is, how do you get started? Well, that's where I can help. The first thing you need to do is thoroughly research the courses you're applying for. Courses vary hugely from university to university and it is highly recommended that you research the content for each one and compare modules between them. Once you've completed your research and you've got your list of four or five courses that you will be applying for, it's a good idea to start brainstorming. A good way to do this is to start listing all of your ideas, the pros and cons and why you're interested in each university. From your list, you should be able to create a first draft. It is highly unlikely that this version will be anything like your final statement. The purpose of your first draft is to highlight areas that need attention, or that need removing completely, or that should have been included in the first place. Once you have a first draft, you can make a start on redrafting. Your redraft is a great opportunity to receive some feedback. Remember that your personal statement needs to tell a story, beginning with how you developed an interest in your subject, strong enough for you to choose to study it to degree level. So here are our top five tips to writing a fantastic personal statement. Number one, when writing your personal statement, you should ask yourself the question, how will the universities that I'm applying for use my personal statement? For those universities that don't interview, your personal statement is directly bidding for a place on your course and should be written as such. However, if you need to attend an interview for your course, your personal statement will require a little more thought and tactics. Number two, it's worth reminding yourself that the deadline is January 15th or October 15th if you're applying for Medicine, Dentistry, Oxford or Cambridge. Remember that if you don't get your application in on time, it will not be considered. You should also familiarise yourself with the time scale for your school before the end of your AS year. Number three, whilst admissions tutors are interested in your academic ability, they also want to know that you're an interesting person. The best way to show this is by mentioning extracurricular activities. However, often students dedicate too much of their personal statement to extracurricular activities, so don't waste space on things that aren't related. Use this part as an opportunity to reflect on the skills that you've gained from your activities that are transferable to your studies. Number four, the balance of your personal statement can have a significant impact on the overall message that you convey. And whilst there are no strict rules, it is important to consider the balance between sections. As a general rule of thumb, you should be looking to spend about six lines on your introduction, 22 to 27 lines for academic discussion, four to 10 lines for talk of extracurricular activities, and no more than four lines for your conclusion. Number five, the last thing, and the most important thing for your personal statement, is showing a true passion for your subject. This is what can make your statement stand out for the right reasons, so don't be shy in expressing your enthusiasm for your chosen subject. It is important to remember that in order to show passion, you don't have to say that you've dreamt about doing this for your entire life. It is quite possible to have chosen a course based on its appeal at a university open day, just so long as you can justify your decision. In allowing your passion to shine through, however recently it was discovered, you will convince your reader that you are committed to your chosen subject. So now you have a bit more of an idea about what should go into your statement and the balance between sections. So the question is, when should you start? Well, the answer to this one is today. The best thing you can do is just write those first words. Start a list, develop a first draft, write lots as it's always easier to take things away than to add them. And before you know it, you'll have a second draft and you'll be well on your way to developing a killer personal statement. Obviously, this is just a quick summary and you should definitely do more research on how to write a brilliant personal statement. For more advice, articles and expert help, check out www.uniadmissions.co.uk.